Hi, I'm Sarah Jones and I'm the landlady of the Grafton Arms. You've got a huge passion for women's football and, and you show it here at, at, your, at your pub. What, what's driven that? You see, there's this misconception that only women want to watch women's football, but here, everybody, people of all genders want to watch the game. We see it more and more as well, the more that we've been showing women's football, that it does have an audience as well. It does have not, not just for people interested in women's football, there's more people who might not have thought about watching the game, but it's on here, and you sort of see people sneakily looking up at the TV when they hear a cheer or hear a goal being scored and by the end of it they're well into it you know and that's how sort of fans are created and interest is formed so it's been a really good thing for us. There's a beautiful mural behind Absolutely. you with three England and Manchester City players. Yes, yes. Tell me um, about the mural. We've, we've, it's a continuation of the mural we've got through the pub which celebrates uh, Manchester icons um, either people from the city or people who've come to the city to do something special. So with uh, Jill Scott especially, who's one of my heroes growing up, uh, Steph Horton, obviously England captain, city captain, outstanding, and Ellen White, I'm a striker for Laces, so I sort of watch Ellen White quite a lot, which is playing for City and sort of trying to pick up a few tips. Obviously nowhere near as good as Ellen White, but I do sort of watch her and try and pick up these things. And yeah, again, it celebrates what we're trying to do here, which is uh, providing a place for women's football, and these are legends of the game, and so they thoroughly deserve a place in the wall. So I'm honoured that they're there. The idea was to celebrate Manchester, Manchester yeah. icons, and people who've either been born in the city and gone on to do amazing things, or people who've come to the city to do amazing things. And so with it's the Grafton Arms, want people who come in here to know they're in Manchester. Wow. So that's where all the walls that are covered in icons, um, and including now the, the latest addition to our mural with three of the best ever England players and yeah, oh. heroes of mine. Yeah, so this is oh, why. Thank I, you. I, I, I was, was just about to say when you said doing amazing things, I'm like, why, why is she on here? <laughs> no, so <laughs> no, all, I, you know, I've watched her for years. And oh. So it's, yeah, I'm really proud and honoured to have you, all three of you on the wall. Oh, I appreciate and, it. And thank you for coming in as well. No worries. I'm glad you like it. I, yeah, I, I do it, actually. So. It's, it's give us like smooth, I thought yeah, I'd yeah. have more wrinkles, <laughs> so you've been kind to us. No, uh, it's all good, it's all good. I'm no, glad you like it. It's brilliant. So, nice do you want us to sign it? Yes, please, if that's okay. I feel under pressure here. Thank you very much. Okay, feel under pressure. It's, all, it's also That's my perfect. bank signature, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, thank you so much, honestly, thank no you. Worries. That's amazing. How incredible must it feel to have a, a mural of yourself in a pub? No, it's great. I think I look the best, actually. They've left a few wrinkles out around the eyes, but um, no, it's great. I think moments like these are a bit surreal, really, when you go into pubs and you see uh, paintings up of pictures like Aguero and Kevin De Bruyne around Manchester and then to think that the women's football's up there, um, yeah, it's a, a great moment. So you play for Manchester Laces and they've made this their home, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about that. Manchester Laces were um, formed in April, it's a, an amazing club, the, their logo is on the wall there, it's, a, it's a, honestly a beautiful place to be, supportive and I'm not very good at football but you know, um, it's okay, it's, it's about having fun. The, yeah, the team come down here to watch the women's football quite a lot. Um, they came in for the Euros, and next summer for the Euros is going to be incredible in here. So Sarah was at the first ever session that we did all the way back in March. She invited us along to come and watch some games. So during the Euros, we watched the men's Euros, and then we've watched quite a lot of the Lionesses qualifier games and friendly games on the big screen that's behind us here. Really enjoy it. And then also we watch a lot of the WSL games here as well. So the relationship has grown through watching football and enjoying the sort of community aspect that they have here at the pub. Uh, it, it's been amazing because, you know, we have that space to come where everyone feel, feels welcome. You know, you walk in, everyone knows us. You, anytime there's a women's game on, they'll, they'll put it on where, you know, sometimes you're fighting for space with, you know, loads of men or like loads of different people but this is this is our space um, and it's just so welcoming and Sarah's been absolutely great you know I'd encourage any club out there to just make those connections with your local pub and, and see what they can do because this this place is our home it's brilliant. What's been the impact do you think on your pub of, of showing these women's matches? Oh it's, it's been fantastic we have comments on our Instagram post saying wow what a cool pub you know I know which is great for me of course 
Um, but yeah, so people now associate us with showing women's football. Um, and so they'll come here specifically to watch the game. And that, you know, for me as well, more people in the pub, which is great. I expect other pubs to, to sort of join me in that as well. I know there's a few that show women's football too. So it's only going to get bigger. If there were any publicans that you wanted to give a few tips some advice of how to start and how to how to begin showing these women's games and their matches, what would you say? The first one, just put it on and you'll be surprised the amount of people who they might not ask for it, might not even think to ask for it, but if it's on, they'll start watching it. And we've had it a few times uh, where we've just put the women's game on and then a random customer will be in here and then they'll specifically ask for it the next time. Oh, I'm sure there's women's football on today. So that's how interest is formed and, and that's how it's providing the opportunity for people to watch women's football, you know, if you can't get to the game. And like I say, even if people haven't shown any interest in it previously, they might not even ask for it or request it. If it's on, that's, that's the first thing, of course. Put it on your screens and you'll be surprised, actually, how many people are interested in it, how many people do want to watch it. And we'll then come back and ask specifically for it later on. So put it on the telly is what I'd say.